Hi, I'm Kimberly and welcome to another edition of Tax Talk. Today we will be exploring the newly implemented Minimum Business Tax or MBT. To talk to us more about MBT is Technical Specialist here at TAJ, Ms. Donna Newman. Ms. Newman, it's certainly a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, it's my pleasure to be here as well. So tell me, what is this Minimum Business Tax? The Minimum Business Tax is simply a tax that has been imposed on specified taxpayers. The specified taxpayers include companies or body corporates registered under the following enactments, including the Building Societies, the Companies Act, the Friendly Societies, and the Industrial and Provident Societies Act. Also, an individual with gross revenue of three million or more will be eligible to pay the minimum business tax. Is this minimum business tax applicable to all businesses and individuals? No. Some persons will find themselves not having to pay the minimum business tax. A registered charity will not pay the minimum business tax. And any individual in business with income of less than three million, that is gross revenue of less than three million, will not be paying the minimum business tax. What about partners in businesses? Are they required to pay the minimum business tax? Partners are required to pay the minimum business tax. However, the partners will be treated as individuals for the purposes of the minimum business tax act. And so partners will find themselves paying the minimum business tax in relation to their gross revenue. The gross revenue of the partnership has to be divided among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. So how are minimum business tax payments to be made? The minimum business tax payments are due in two quarterly installments. The first payment was due on the 15th of June 2014 and the second installment of 30,000 is due on the 15th of September 2014. To pay the minimum business tax, the taxpayer has to go to the tax office to make the payment using a payment advice. Currently, these payment advice are not available online. So what happens if payment of minimum business tax is not made? If the minimum business tax payments are not made, the taxpayer will be charged a penalty. The penalty is charged on outstanding amounts, and the amounts are outstanding if they are not paid on the first of the month following the month in which they were due. That is to say, the payments for June, if they remain unpaid as of the 1st of July 2014, those accounts will be charged a penalty at the rate of 1.5% until the outstanding amounts are paid. What are claims for newly established businesses? A newly established business is required to pay the minimum business tax as long as they would have been operational for your assessment 2014 they will pay the tax. Are there any benefits to be had really from the payment of the minimum business tax? Yes, having paid the minimum business tax, taxpayers are now eligible to get a credit against their income tax liability. That is, when you pay your 60,000 year of assessment 2014, when you're filing your final return for the year of assessment 2014, you will get a credit against whatever your income tax liability is. So, if your final return has a liability of 100000 you have a minimum business tax credit of 60000 you're able to pay only 40000 because the credit is deducted from your liability and your final liability is $40,000. I know you mentioned earlier on that charities and charitable organizations are exempt from the payment of the minimum business tax. But what I want to know is, what if I operate a charitable organization, however it's not registered, do I still um, become exempt for payment? Yes, you would be liable for the payment of the minimum business tax. The only charities that are not required to pay minimum business tax are the current registered charitable organizations. So you therefore must be registered in order to qualify for exemption? Yes. What happens if I'm an individual with several businesses? Do I pay MBT for all those individual businesses? No. The minimum business tax is paid by an individual on the aggregate of their gross revenue. So if you have, say, three business operations, 
three different sources if the aggregate of your business income from the three sources is three million or more then you will be liable to pay the minimum business tax and it's just one payment per individual right and i'm sure many persons are curious we, I understand the benefit you've explained for the payment of minimum business tax on the part of the taxpayers, but how does it benefit the government? Well, for the government, it allows for the broadening of the tax net and for increased revenue so flows. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, just to add that the minimum business tax is not a tax on income. And a reminder that individuals with gross revenue of less than three million dollars will not be required to pay the minimum business tax. And for companies, some persons have been asking, dormant companies, loss-making companies, they are all required to pay the minimum business tax. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Damon, for sharing such valuable information with us here today. You're welcome, and as I've said, it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for joining us for another edition of Tax Talk. We hope you found the information shared to be very useful. Don't forget to join us again next time for much more useful information. And please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe.